Ovada! Where are you? I'm here. Just like you want. I want you to fight for your life. Fight with honor or die a coward. We don't have to do this, Ovada. We don't have to fight. I awoke beside his bed. As I looked over, I realized that Arcris was gone for good. But he had left something behind. A journal. Runes were scratched everywhere within, pointing towards a magic of some sorts, but I couldn't understand it. The scribblings, however, depicted an Arcris who had traversed through time through sacrifice of blood. All with the purpose of stopping Orvada from ending my life. I took to the skies to prepare for my fate, when I noticed a radio broadcast from Rena. It turns out, Lunum was with her, and I needed a friend badly right now, so I made my way over there. It's important to decide when you fight your battles. That's not running. That's strategy, Aiton. If you're not prepared to fight this battle, you can wait. It's not running. It's gaining the upper hand. Mm, I'm not really sure Ovada's going to see hey. it that way. Luna, what was that uh, journal and the uh, dagger that Stupik had? That was by Arthur's body? <sighs> I think it had something to do with uh, trapping a soul or something. Wait, 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 wait. You said a, a, a dagger that can trap souls? That's what Arcris was trying to do. He was trying to trap Olvada's soul. He wasn't trying to kill him. He, he was trying to save him. Maybe I can save him too. Maybe. If this dagger really worked, it would mean that my fight with Olvada wouldn't have to end up in one of us dying. You mean even I tried speaking with him? You did? Yes, I made him meet with me. He was being an asshole, but I made him meet regardless. And, uh, he didn't try anything. I didn't try anything. We just spoke for a few. I heard about what was going on because I didn't want any of this to happen without knowledge of what was going on. I understand why he wants to hunt you down now, even though I think he's wrong after hearing your side. But why? He felt like yeah. you trapped him. Like you knew. But I didn't... I didn't. Ain't no talking about crazy. Nope. Just stab him with the fucking dagger. Trap him, and let Pantheon deal with it. Feeling motivated now that I had a chance of saving Orvada's soul at least, I was raring to go, and with the help of Rena and Lunum, I was well equipped to fight. Whether that would help me or not was another question, but I was tired of running away. It was time to face my past. Uh -oh. You, uh, I'm guessing you should get on your way, yeah? I suppose I should. Mm -hmm. Take care. Of course. And, uh, hopefully... Please stay safe, Aiden. Yes. Yes, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll try. Alright. Go, go. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Goodbye. Of course.
Oh, Father! Where are you? I'm here. Just like you want. It's okay, Delphi. It's okay. I can do this. I've always been able to do this. Jesus Christ, get down! <laughs> Vada, stop playing games with me! But I thought you enjoyed the game. <laughs> so you are here. Oh, Delphi! You leave my goddamn critter alone! She's been nothing but good to me. This is between you and me. Come now, let's talk face to face. Rise and shine, Buttercup. Damn you. So this, this is how you wanted to do it, eh? Whatever that bloody thing is on your shoulder, and what did you do to me? Mind control. Mind control? I thought you wanted to fight, or even kill me. Well, here I am, you know. Get it over and done with. As tempting as that is, there's no fun in executing him. So, what is it you want? To talk? You know, we could have just done that. It would have been fine. I think we're well beyond talking. <laughs> now. You and I have places to go. I can't really do much about that right now, can I? Ah! Damn it! Make sure the dolphin comes with us. Delphi! I don't understand why you're still doing this. I don't understand why you're holding a grudge against me. I... I... I know things didn't go great in the aisles, but I promise I didn't know what was happening half of the time. Do you understand what it's like to be trapped in a void for what feels like an eternity? No. Do you know what it's like to be sat alone? Nothing but your own thoughts to keep you company. Do you know what it's like for your own voice in your head to just abandon you and leave you to rot? Father, I didn't... I didn't know. Well, I've had a lot of time to sit in pain and suffer. A lot of time to think about what I want to do free. Do you know what I chose? I chose to lash back at those who caused me pain. I, I didn't mean to. And you know I never wanted to cause you any pain. I didn't know what I was doing. I, I wasn't of my right mind. You know that. I wasn't myself, and, well, you know I only ever wanted to be friends, I wanted to help you, I never wanted to harm you. For all I know, 
You're just speaking to try and save your own life. Isn't that what I always do? You know me. I tried to learn how to fight. I really did. I tried to follow your example. And... And Aiden's. But... I was never good enough. So I relied on others. Why? Ah! Why would you think I would stand a chance against you? <laughs> you think I thought you stood a chance? No. I knew you wouldn't stand a chance. Why did you bring me out here? Why prolong this? What is it you really want from me? What do I want from you? Well... I want you to fight for your life. Fight with honor, or die a coward. Damn it. I hate to admit, I really do. But... You're right. I wronged you. I did. I may not have known I was doing it, but... I definitely wronged you. I can't imagine what you've been through, Ovada. And I know you probably can't find it within your heart to forgive me. So if it's a fight you want, then... It's a fight you'll get. Down to the last breath. And just think, if you win this fight, walk away alive. Which I highly doubt will happen. You'll get to go home, back to Sila. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm not sure Sila's really around anymore. She hasn't been for a while. She's been sleeping a lot. And... I don't know. I... And I... And Akris. <laughs> oh, Akris. I really... Don't have much left. Uh... Kind of you. I guess Lunum cares, but... No. I can't back out now. If it's a fight you want, then it's a fight you'll get. Just like back then. Except this time, I'll... I'll come at you with... Everything I can muster. Even if that's nothing at all. But... Please. Just once. <clears throat> Find it in your heart to maybe change your mind. Let me think about that. No. So be it. <laughs> Here? Don't be naive. Look at this grand open sky. This is where you've been hiding. All this time. A twisted land for a twisted beast. You really want to do this? It's either that... Or I'll just cut you down where you stand. <sighs> okay. Well. Set the stage then, my friend. Oh. This may be our last ride together.
I should have you now. I've been practicing. And for what? This pathetic show. Tell me, how's Arthur's doing? Oh. How dare you! <laughs> You did good. You did good, Kip. Oh, God. You did good. Where are you going? Stay. Stay put. Why the dragons? Why the goddamn dragons? Every time. I don't stand a chance. Oh. You shouldn't take this away from me. Stay back! Can we end this now? You are such a coward. <laughs> I'm not a coward. I, I just don't want to fight. Can't we go back to the way things were? When I know I was... I was... An, an idiot, and I didn't know a thing, and, and you were just a friend. Someone who helped me. Down too far to just go back. You really want to end this? I was really hoping I didn't have to do this, but... Lunan gave me a trump card. Or, shall I say, he reminded me. A dagger. A dagger that can contain the soul. Ah, you know about it then. That trinket gives me more reason to cut you down now. See, Ovada, I would try anything to save you, rather than hurt you. But if it means I've got to plunge this thing in your bloody chest, then I will do it! Damn it! Hold your breath. 
You practice with Aiden. Damn it. Come on, then. Fight me. Did he do anything? How do you feel? Kill you! What? Uh. What the? Where the? Where the hell am? Is this the Crystal Isles? How did this happen? What am? What am I doing here? I. Where's Ovada? I'm so confused. What is this? Well, this is a fascinating place for your. Mine to depict. Uh. Um. Who are you? Who I am is irrelevant at this moment. What is relevant is who are you, Aiden? Well, uh. I'm me, Aiden Hunter. Um. I do, I'm sorry, I, I really don't understand what's going on right now. But I was just in the middle of fighting Ovada, and I think I was almost... Well, did I kill him? Well, you tell me. Did you kill him? I don't know. Are you going to defy what fate had originally planned for you? Are you going to follow what Arcris set up for you to... I... I used the dagger. I at least hope that it managed to do something. It did. That dagger was the key to your victory, if you will. My victory? Well, it... If I won, then what the hell am I doing here? Back here? Or whatever here is. You see, that's that's the thing. You may have won the battle, but you also sustained injuries throughout the battle. Did? At this current moment, your fate is undecided fate had a plan for you originally you were to fall in that battle but Arcris well he complicated things and now your fate is uncertain you mean to tell me I was supposed to die not surprised. Yes. Arcris already tried to stop it. I guess I'd kind of accepted it. I thought Alvada was going to kill me. But what does that mean? Does, what does that mean for me? Am I... Am I now... Am I that stuck? means fate is now in your hands, actually. And fate has no outcome for you. So she sent me here to provide a choice. A choice? You see, where I come from is a world that has been in war for hundreds of years after a prince killed his own father on the throne. Vada? That very prince was exiled from his home, banished from the world, and sent to... Well, he decided to send himself to hunt down other copies of what should be the king that was killed. Aiden. 
So that's why. And eventually, a human came along and interrupted this plan, changed things, made them go a different course of what fate had planned. Was that me? And now, after the final fight between the human and the prince, the prince lies dead, and the human slowly bleeding out from his wounds. Wait, I'm, I'm dying? Can't, can't you stop it? Uh, wait, is this... am I... And that is where things come to now. You can go back where you came from, back to your home, back to that world where it's uncertain if you'll live or not. Or you can come along with me and I can take you to another world. Only in mind and soul, your body will remain. And what happens if my body doesn't, you know? Your body will be fine. You simply, if you were to go back, you would simply end up in a, what most people would call a coma for a short while. It could last for a few days or a few weeks or maybe even a few years. If you were to come with me, the same thing would still happen, except you would indefinitely remain in a coma until you decide to go back. And where would we go? To a world where a prince remains imprisoned and possessed by a demon. A world where Arcris resides alongside Pantheon rule, or not, I wouldn't say ruling, but watching over a sanctuary of survivors that are trying to well, survive the war. A place where corruption spreads, runs rampant. A world where a demon the same one that is messing with a prince is trying to bring the entire world to an end. If that is all too much for you, like I said, you can go back and live out the rest of your life with your family if they find you, save you. I don't even think they know where I was. Hmm. The younger Arcris is quite ingenuitive. I'm sure he will be able to find you. I hope so too. But, you know, something about seeing this place again feels like I. Maybe I owe it to myself <laughs> to take one last trip. To do some good. If I come with you, then you promise that one day, maybe, I can come back? Without a doubt. It's quite simple, you see. If you were to perish in the world that I bring you to, you would awaken to find yourself back where you started. Hmm. With your family. As I said, and only mind and soul, your body will remain, and your soul will always find its way back for as long as your body remains alive. Mm. Feels like my whole time in these worlds has been exactly that, jumping back and forth in between, maybe spending some time in, in my mind. My soul. 
Maybe it'd be good for me. Find out if I really can be someone who my family can depend on. Well then, the choice has been laid out for you. You can either pick up the dagger or come along with me. I will not judge you for the choice you make, nor will I try to convince you of changing your mind. What happens to Orvada if I come with you? Well, you see, this isn't the first time we've had this conversation, nor will it be the last. There are many copies of you, all of which have made different decisions. If you choose to come along with me, another would choose to stay and finish the job. You said Arcris is where we're going? Yes, though I'm not sure how well he will take to you. After all, he believes you're dead. <laughs> well, it would be damn good to see his face again. Nevada hates me. You know what, fellow, whoever you are, person inside my mind, I guess, um, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll come with you. Very well. Oh, shit.